How would you kind of characterize your, your games against the LA Kings this year and maybe what's what's challenging about them? Uh, tight checking, structured, um, you know, all the things that we know about them. Um, you know, they're a real good team. They're solid, um, well coached. Um, it's going to be a good test. Some, I don't know, animosity, bad blood. Like, it seems they seem pretty intense. You know, maybe even dating back to the, the playoff series a little bit. Like yeah, I think anytime you play a team in the playoffs and it goes seven, and, you know, I think all those types of things that play a factor. So, definitely the games were, uh, were emotional. Um, you know, for both sides, um, I would expect the same. Those two games that you guys beat them at the end, that's what I think, and just being able to grind it out. How important was that to show that you can play that style and you can be successful playing that way? Uh, yeah, really important. You know, I think it was good for, for us to show each other more so than anything else that, uh, you know, we can play that game, we can win that way. Um, you know, with that being said, you know, they were solid last year too in the playoffs and, and, uh, and I thought we did a good job doing that. So, um, we know the game to expect. I think they know the, what to expect from us. Uh, you know, there's lots of familiarity there, so, um, shouldn't be any surprises. When you're playing the Oilers in a seven game series or six or less, whatever, you know, the, the object is to play their top guys really hard. I imagine that's something you've dealt with your whole life. How do you deal with yeah, that? Yeah, what's that like? I would think all four games this year, they're not they're not saying let's open it right up, you know, and let, make it easy on the top guys. It's something that, uh, you know, I'm sure every team that comes in here says, um, you know, it's nothing new. Um, with that being said, they can score goals too. They got some real good players and we got to be tough on their top guys. One of the you know, cliches might be, hey, you want to peak at the right time, you want to be hot going to the playoffs. How much does the final you know, 15, or even the final 21 games, I guess, mean once the puck drops on Monday? Well, I mean, ultimately the past doesn't really mean anything. Um, you know, it's, it's, y y we definitely feel good about our game, but you know, I don't think the past predicts the future. So, um, you know, when the puck drops on Monday night, it'll uh, be a brand new series. Um, it's kind of a fresh start. Um, for, for both sides, and we'll see what happens. You had such a great regular season. You know, people are excited to see you. Now people are excited to see you elevate in the playoffs. How are you mm -hmm. excited about the playoffs and, and that challenge? And how, how high can your game go? I'm excited for the opportunity just to, to, to play in the playoffs. You know, it's uh, it's it's uh, um, you know we're not uh, it's not not easy to get in. You know, we, we we've always kind of said that, and it's a great opportunity, um, and that's all it is. And you know, I think our, our group is uh, excited for the challenge, and um, looking forward to get things going. Connor, you mentioned how the past doesn't mean anything. I think that's fair. But if you can look at where your team was entering the postseason last year compared to this group, how much more confident are you in your overall game as a group heading into the postseason now than maybe you were last year? Um, yeah, definitely. Um, you know, being there uh, before helps, obviously. Um, you know, so I think that gives us confidence. Obviously, confidence coming down the stretch. We were playing really well. Um, like I said before, though, that doesn't predict who's going to win a series. So, um, you know, it's going to be a good test. Always a really good team. Um, and we're looking forward to it. You mentioned how you, you, you have to learn from stuff in the playoffs, mm -hmm. and that's painful. And the deeper you go, the, the more the pain is, Darnell said. So what do you feel you've learned, and how, how can you use that to your advantage heading into a playoffs again? I think just understanding the swings of a playoff series, um, you know, and not you know, more so than, than last year against these guys. Um, feels like it's swung both ways multiple times. Um, you know, so understanding that there's going to be swings, um, you know, and dealing with that, uh, you know, and understanding that when you have momentum, you got to really, really take control. And um, when you don't, um, you know, you got to, uh, got to do all the right things to get it back. So um, it's going to be swings in a long series, and um, that's just the way it is. I feel Matthias Ekholm, and what you've learned from him now that you didn't necessarily know when you played against him. I think I knew just how solid of a defender he was, you know, playing against him. That was, right, you know, I knew that right from day one playing against him. He's as solid as they come. And um, what I would say I'm learning and learned about him is just how, uh, how you know, good offensive instincts he has. You know, he's, uh, he's, a lot, he's not to say that I didn't think he was good on, on offense, but his instincts are great. He makes really solid plays. He reads the play so well offensively and uh, really contributes to that side too. In the shuffle with Yossi there and, and Ryan Ellis before as offensive guys, and maybe he, he took a back seat because they provided the offense. Yeah, maybe a little bit, maybe a little bit. And you know, he's a veteran guy and a leader and understands um, kind of where he sits, so I wouldn't be surprised to, for him to look around that deep corpse and, and maybe say, you know, someone's got to be the solid guy. And, and, and he definitely was that. Um, coming here, I think he's got a little bit more chance to. 
to play offense, and and, uh, and I think you've seen that. Can you, anybody handle his playoff? Nobody's going to approach his beard. He's already got the playoff beard. Nobody's going to be able to get a beard like him. Yeah, I'm not sure if he starts like this, and you know, um, but you know, nothing's uh, yeah, nothing's nothing's a given. You know, we've we've played uh, we've played a playoff series. We've played in the playoffs before, and you know, they can be really long, and they can be really short if you're not ready to go. So. Um, that's our focus. He's allowed to maintain it, though, isn't he? Like he doesn't got to just let her box. Like he can, what's the I don't know. Here? I don't know. That's a good question. We got to ask. Uh, maybe we got to ask the, the old boys on that one. I'm not sure. Can't go to Joe Thornton. Talk about what you expect atmosphere-wise and the importance of having Game One here in the building Monday night. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, you know, we're expecting it to be rocking. Um, you know, Edmonton uh, in the playoffs is always uh, a special place and. Um, we're looking forward to it. I know it, uh, it definitely helps um, momentum-wise, and um, just to have the crowd behind you, it, uh, it helps. You talked yeah. about good starts. Game one hasn't been your, your best here the last few years. I think mm -hmm. it's the last four you've lost. So mm -hmm. can you test to why and what, what has to be different to ensure that doesn't repeat? Um, just being ready to go. I know it sounds cliche, but you know, being ready to go right off the hop, I think also staying focused at uh, – you know the job at hand. I think sometimes in years past we've been a little distracted. You know, um, wanting to do different things than maybe what uh, we're comfortable with. But you know, just understanding that it's hockey out there, and, and uh, um, you know, just play our game, and, um, and that's all.